As Americans endure the burden of Biden's economic policies, a group of Democrat lawmakers are asking the Federal Reserve to stop banks and financial institutions from financing the fossil fuel industry. Lawmakers like AOC, Rashida Tlaib, and Elizabeth Warren writing a letter to Jerome Powell saying, it's the climate crisis that is placing a heavy financial burden on Americans. Not the barbaric policies of this administration. Joining us now, Pennsylvania Republican Congressman Mike Kelly. Congressman, I call this moronomics. It <laughs> makes zero sense. They want pain and suffering to be inflicted on the American people, clearly. Well, Dagan, Sean, it's so good to see you, buddy. Um, look, we've seen uh, almost three years of this wrong-sided uh, type of, of, of policy from people who really are more concerned making political gains and, and not doing strong policy that protect the American people. Nobody in their right mind, and I, I want to emphasize, in their right mind, you have people who don't know anything about private transportation. You have people who don't drive their own cars but get shuttled around in a car. They're talking about something that makes absolutely no sense to anybody who is a good thinker. We have vast stores of energy right below our surface. Why the war on domestic energy? I can't understand that. I don't think Americans can understand it. And I tell my friends all the time, this is not a Republican or a Democrat debate. This is an American debate. And if we don't wake up soon, I tell people, please stop trying to be woke and wake up. We are losing the greatest country the world's ever known. And this is all homegrown energy, Sean. It's right below our surface. So people tell me, the, well, we don't want to disregard all the above. I said, you know what? Great idea. Let's not, let's not disregard everything that's below. Pennsylvania is the Saudi Arabia of natural gas. All of these things are right there, right below the surface. And we can lower the cost of living for every single American. But it's policy that's wrongheaded right now by people who were put in office, by people who didn't absolutely understand what it is that they we're voting for. This is what you voted for. So if you want to find what the problem is, if you voted for it, run to a mirror and look at who it is that put you in that position. Yep. So Mike Kelly, not only do you get better looking every time I see you, but you're actually <laughs> a smart, your home state of Pennsylvania voted for these darn policies with, with, with Joe Biden. I don't, it doesn't make any sense to me. Maybe they're going to change course in the next election. But I want to get your, your take on this because elections do matter to your point. Your home state of Pennsylvania. Absolutely. It's the 24th state to add automatic uh, voter registration when residents sign up for driver's license or ID cards. What can you tell us about the political impact, the election impact this Pennsylvania policy is going to have in your state in the 2024 election? Well, so when you look at this is an executive decision made by, mm. other, by Governor Shapiro. This wasn't put before the legislative body and a vote taken on it. And so all of a sudden, when we take that ability away, when we distort what our governments are all about, when it's supposed to be people by the people, for the people, and of the people, and all of a sudden, no, this is an executive that makes a decision that absolutely impacts our lives. I don't mind following the rules. Whatever the, whatever the new rules are, that's fine. Uh, I think that uh, we look at what happened in the last election and we find out that it's not so much that there was something th uh, that was taken away from it. It was something that when they changed the rules, they changed the ability to get people out to vote. I really believe that the American people need to understand these are truly the times that try men's souls. And forget the sunshine patriot and the, and the summer soldier. Let's make sure we get the right people out there. One and a half million men and women in uniform, you, you guys both know it, have died to protect this model. And now we have executive decisions taking place without elected members and representatives weighing in on this. This is just totally un-American. It's not the way we operate. It's not the way we should operate. And right now, it's up to the American people to make a difference. So I tell them all the time, forget about being woke, get awake. You do not want these people making policies for you. It's wrongheaded, it's un-American, and it's a disaster when we, when we work on the world stage. I don't want to re depend on a foreign source of energy when we have everything right below. Mm. Mike Kelly, well said. Great member of Congress, great car dealer from Pennsylvania. We appreciate you joining us and bringing a little bit of heat today, that Pennsylvania fire. Thank you. Yeah, well, yeah thanks. Thanks, Sean. Hey, make sure you tell Rachel I said hi. Will do.